Hey guys, it's Greg. Welcome back. So I found a question from Keith here. Even though it's eight months ago, I wanted to answer it because it's just one of those evergreen questions that I bet a lot of you guys are banging your heads about. So Keith says, how do you change the orange border colors on the Sydney site for the Let Us Begin button? All right, so we can do that pretty easily on our justademo.com site for Sydney. We're talking about this button in the middle. And the easiest way to change button colors in Sydney is to right click and click inspect. All right, I'm in Google Chrome browser here, but this will work in any browser. And then you just want to scroll down in the styles part on the right side of your screen. And we're going to try to find the um, background color and the border CSS right here. So we know it's the right area because we see the particular orange slash red we're, we're working on. All right, and on Sydney and on the right, if you had a bigger screen, you can actually click and toggle that on and off. All right, but we know it's the roll button because it says roll button and that's the button. So what you wanna do is just click once on the CSS selector, as it's called, including the period, and then copy it. All right, and then we're gonna come back to our dashboard, hover on appearance and click custom CSS. So in our case, we installed the TJ custom CSS plugin. You can also do this in appearance customized though. We've just made many changes here, so it's good to add another one in in the same place. Now we'll paste in what we just copied, write an open alligator bracket, hit enter, and we're gonna write border colon, we're gonna write one pixel and then pound sign FFF, which is white. So that's just a new color, just to try it out. And we're gonna save it. And now we're gonna open our site. And we can see we've actually removed that little border right there. So that's pretty cool. Now it doesn't have a border, it's just the background color. All right. So I'm going to go to my W3 schools window here. I'm going to try to find out why the border didn't become white. Okay, and it looks like we need to add a characteristic like solid. So all right, solid and save it. And now refresh it and we should have that white border. All right, so we've just created a white border and it applies when we're not on the button and when we're hovering on the button. All right, if you wanted to get rid of a border, you could just remove the solid, but that's bad CSS. Good CSS would just be to write none. All right, so you write none, and then the border's gone. Refresh, and no border. All right, pretty cool. So using this method, you can also change the button characteristics like background color. We try making that, you know, just blue, for example. And save it. And refresh. All right, so pretty easy to change the colors here. All right, so pretty cool. And we can also change the color when we're hovering on the button. To do that, you just write out another line of CSS, which is gonna be dot roll but dash button. Make sure to connect those with the dash. Then colon hover. All right, that's how you do it. Open bracket. And now we can write in a new background color, like green. Just for example. All right, so just a little bit of simple CSS. When we do that, it works right on our site and it tells the button to change as we've told it to, change to green. All right, let us know any more questions you have about modifying the button color and button styles in Sydney or on your WordPress theme of choice. Thanks so much to Keith for asking the question that inspired this video. Sorry for getting back to you eight months late, Keith. Hope you still find this, I'll send you the link. And uh, please make sure to subscribe, everyone, so that you get the answer to your question if you're featured here and you get all the latest WordPress how-to and tips. Thanks for watching, because I really enjoyed making this for you guys, and I'll see you next time.